Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and this is everything you need to know about the newest version of iOS, iOS 11. So I've done these same types of videos for new versions of Android in the past, and as you've noticed, while they're probably usually a bigger numerical jump forward, they're also usually lately more of minor additions and small incremental improvements, which are still really good, but not quite as exciting as a huge one. So iOS 11 just got the big unveil, and not gonna lie, it's a pretty big update, both in new features and as a visual refresh. There's a lot of new stuff there too. And as a bonus, most of your iPhones will probably get this iOS 11 update at some point. Same thing can't really be said. I can't really say everyone's phone is gonna get that Android 8.0 update. So these are the top five new features in maybe the biggest iOS update yet iOS 11. So number five is the way it handles screenshots. So screenshots in iOS were pretty simple before. You take a simple screenshot and it goes to the gallery. In iOS 11, you take a screenshot and it sort of floats down here to the corner where you can take action on it whenever you want. You tap on it and then it expands and gives you the markup tools to circle stuff or highlight stuff or do whatever you want with that before sharing it, which is pretty awesome. And as a bonus, you can take multiple screenshots. So one here, you can move somewhere else and take another screenshot there and another one and they all show up at the bottom where you can click in and view them all, mark them all up and then share them one at a time or all of them, etc. Pretty useful. Now number four is the new App Store in iOS 11. Well, it's the same App Store, but it got a huge visual refresh, of course. I think a lot of developers will appreciate this one because the Today section, right over at the left, which is the default up front, can seriously highlight some apps big time here. Uh, these featured cards are pretty good looking, and then of course you can still browse the other categories like you normally could. There's a dedicated games section now. So the new App Store is definitely very different. If you get used to it pretty quickly, it's gonna be fun to browse kind of the same way you did the old App Store, just in a prettier way. Number three is the Siri improvements. So from the time I've gotten to spend with the new Siri in iOS 11, it's a lot faster and marginally more helpful. So first off, it can do live translations now. So if I wanna ask it, uh, hey Siri, how do I say what's the weather in German? In German, what's the weather is? Wie ist das Wetter? I believe you. And did you see how fast it reacted to the Hey Siri cue? Like it reacts again, but it seemed to react within like a second and start processing everything I'm saying. And you can actually edit what you said. So technically if you want to type to Siri, you can modify your question and do that too. So I think even just because of its newfound speed, it may be worth rematching it or recomparing it to the Google Assistant like I did in that previous video, and then maybe some other assistants as well. But uh, it is still in beta technically, so I'll let that fully bake. I'm just glad to see they're still working on it. So number two is the visual overhaul there are so many new little things that are visually different in iOS 11. So from the minor stuff, like the bars at the top for your signal instead of the dots, and a couple of new icons, like the new calculator and the way that looks, and the new App Store icon, and the new iTunes Store icon, all that stuff is generally flatter and simpler and more cleaned up. That's kind of the theme here. And the new lock screen buttons are flatter as well. So if you have a pin to unlock your lock screen, those buttons are glassy and clean. And the dock at the bottom of the home screen doesn't have any labels anymore. So it looks a little bit cleaner there too. They just did a lot of cleaning up. And then there's a lot of new animations. So check this out. Waking up the phone with the power button, that's new. Unlocking is even smoother, I think. Uh, double tapping the multitasking brings in the cards from the left. And I, I always thought that scrolling was a little bit jittery, but it's very smooth now. And just the launching of apps has a slightly different animation as well. There is, of course, the new font as well in iOS. So a lot of things are generally tidier and cleaned up in iOS 11. And you notice that, of course, with the many hours you put into using it, you'll notice way more stuff. But just right off the bat, looking pretty good. And then the number one new feature in iOS 11 is, I guess, a pretty obvious one. You probably saw it coming, is the new control center. Now, when I first saw it on stage at WWDC, my initial reaction, as you probably judged from my tweet, was a little bit lukewarm. It didn't look all that weird. In fact, I think it kind of looked a little goofy when I first saw it. But since I've spent time with it in my actual hands and used it, my opinion of it has changed uh, about 180 degrees. Plus the old control center in iOS was a bit finicky anyway, let's be real. So this is a pretty welcome change, plus all the improvements to it are pretty dope. So this is the new control center. It's full screen, it's one screen, and you might think this gap up here is a poor use of space, but it's not because you can add toggles to it. It is actually legitimately customizable. Of all the things for Apple to make custom, I wouldn't think this would be it, but this is awesome. So you go into the settings and you can add, subtract, or rearrange as many of the toggles in whatever order you want. 
So this is what it looks like with zero toggles added, and this is what it looks like with all of them on. Not that bad. And then in the control center itself, all of the control is pretty intuitive, I think. So you tap any of the toggles to enable or disable them, like before. The rotation lock also has this nice little animation. And the brightness and volume sliders are way easier. You don't have to go sideways and actually swipe to the next screen. Plus, you can 3D touch any toggle and get way finer control on a bigger scale, sometimes with more options appearing, which is awesome. Uh, pretty good looking if you ask me. And of course, you see the circle down here at the bottom. That's our new favorite control, screen recording. So you can now record your screen to a video without any cables necessary, and even turn the microphone audio on and off, which could be super useful in a ton of ways. Wink, wink, Snapchat doesn't seem to know you're taking a screenshot. Wink, wink, it's probably gonna be fixed with an update, but not yet, wink, wink. So this customizable control center, while it may look a little bit weird at first, I think is the biggest and best improvement to iOS. So those are your top five. And like I said, there's a ton of other little minor stuff that didn't even make this list that is still greatly improved in iOS 11. You can now click and drag multiple icons from the home screen and put them together and move them all to a new page at the same time. The new volume control and everything else about the default video player in Safari is way better. Uh, there's a new do not disturb while driving mode that will probably honestly actually save lives. Uh, there's a files app for looking through and organizing all the files on your device. And there will be person to person payments through iMessage and Apple Pay, which isn't available yet in this version, but still seems like it'll also be pretty useful. So overall, I'd say this is a pretty big update. Just FYI, this is uh, still a developer preview technically, so more things could be added or taken away in the future. Don't wanna get too carried away. But the full beta is coming later this month, and I think the full final free release for all your iPhones will be coming in the fall. So let me know what your favorite feature is, what you're looking forward to. For me, it's recording things on the screen a lot. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.